Man, you know Vanguard and Warzone is all kinds of ass. I mean, breaking records for the amount of booty juice these games are. <laughs> If this is what people are talking about in 2022, what is going on, my people? We're back in it for another one. And I know I could come out here, man, and talk about all the problems with Vanguard and, and Warzone and shit. And and I have doing it. You know, I've been I've been kind of leading that crusade out here. There's a few of us, but I've been out here preaching, man, bringing that awareness. I just I don't feel like it, man. Not today. But speaking of which, real quick, if I could find the tweet, I'll put it up on the screen for y'all. Just before I turn on this microphone right now. I actually seen a tweet from Raven, uh, and apparently, again, they got skins over there in Warzone running around invisible. Didn't they have this problem before? We're talking about Warzone, man. We're talking about Call of Duty, like one of the biggest games out there on the market. We're talking about a AAA game, and we're talking about possibly the most wealthy publisher gaming publisher out there on this planet right now like i mean who do we got we got epic games with fortnite and shit ea's definitely up there but i mean they're right there we're talking about the the wealthiest gaming publisher in the world and this like they just can't get right man it's like infinity ward you can't get right y'all can't get right this is what you guys got going on in this bitch you got skins that are making players completely invisible and your triple A game, your cash cow game, man. It's Warzone that brings them the money. And this is what they, yo, they can't even fix the motherfucker, man. They got skins over there, invisible again. <laughs> yo, you, you, people, you can't make this shit up, man. You really can't. But anyways, get to the topic of the commentary that I want to talk about, man. I know it's kind of irrelevant. People are going to be like, ah, who cares who said this? Who cares about this particular topic? Uh, in 2022 man and it's like i hear that you know what i mean what would you want me to talk about you want me to talk about how sledgehammer promises that that they're buffing a couple of perks to help with fire protection and vanguard i mean honestly more interest the thing that's more interesting for me is to see how much more they fuck up the game afterwards right or what other games do they break i mean last patch broke cold war a little bit broke modern warfare completely broke Warzone 2 right let's see what else they got that's what's more interesting to me man we'll, we'll check to see if these changes actually come about and it actually works if for the for the greater good of the game for the multiplayer we'll definitely check it out man i don't really feel like talking about it right now man and honestly i like talking about these old games these old classics a better time in call of duty you know i tried to get some black ops 3 gameplay for this video man i i can't i know my fellow content creators can relate to this you know when you know you got gameplay and you can't find the bitch yo i swear i got a i got a sexy tight little game on aquarium somewhere i can't find it i got another one on exodus i can't find the bitch ah oh, you know what it, it doesn't even matter man i got some great recently i was able to get some lobbies on world at war got some great gameplays on world at war that i will be uploading soon i still got Actually, I got a, a decent amount of solid Black Ops 1 gameplays, and I got a few Black Ops 2 gameplays, which you guys are seeing on the screen. This is actually fresh from last night, January 9th. You know, we almost got the nuclear, nuclear TDM, but we ended up running out of time, man. We just put in all kinds of work. I was running the VSAT, Escort Drone, and I think Warthog, and I switched them off for this gameplay. I wish I kept them on, man. I was going... Mm, I was going fucking ham this game. Yo, this game is beautiful, man. Is it too late to ask David Vonahar to increase the score limit over here in Black Ops 2 for when you can't find a clean lobby with no cheaters in it? That's the only problem. There's just so many cheaters on these old games, man. But fuck if you could find a good lobby, if you could find a clean lobby. And people are just running around trying to have fun, just playing legit. Oh, my. Like, Call of Duty doesn't get much better than this right here. But anyways, let me get into the topic of the commentary. I'm seeing all this talk lately about Black Ops 3. I'm seeing Charlie Intel talk about Black Ops 3, how he misses the move. It's a top tier COD and they miss the movement over there and all that. I mean, last I checked, the fanboys were telling me that Modern Warfare 2019 had the best movement in Call of Duty history. I don't know how. Everybody wasn't moving over there. They was camping and shit. <laughs> That's how they got down in Modern Warfare 2019. But whatever, man. They try to tell me that Modern Warfare 2019 has the best movement. I agree with Charlie Tell. Black Ops 3 had some fantastic movement, but the fact that it was a jetpack COD, though, always kind of holds it back a little bit. And don't get it twisted. I love 
me some Black Ops 3. I think it's the greatest COD we've gotten in a long ass time, but I'm seeing some shit and I feel like I just need to speak on it. We better call in the lightning strike and clean these bitches up. Almost got that TDM nuclear. We did finish with a flawless though. I hope you guys enjoyed it, man. Some Black Ops 2. And like I said, this gameplay is relevant to something that I'm going to get into. But I seen a, a post from this face Sway. I don't even know who this person is, man. I have no idea if they're a grown-up, if they're a little kitty who likes to snipe because they in the FaZe clan. I don't even know who this person is. But they got a big following, right? So uh, they're out here, I guess, making content, whatever. <laughs> they have a voice. And I seen them talking about Black Ops 3 is a top three Call of Duty. And if you don't agree or something along those lines, you were just shit at it. I don't agree with that. And I wasn't shit at Black Ops 3 either, man. What the fuck are you talking about? What does this face way talk about, man? You were just shit at it if it's not... I mean, Black Ops 3 is a great game. I would like to go back and relive some of those moments in Black Ops 3. I love the zombies. I think the zombies is the best they've ever been in the franchise in Black Ops 3. People always bitch at me about the gobble gums and zombies. I, I chose not to use them, man. So I didn't have a problem with them. You know what I mean? You could have chose not to use them. They were there to help the noobs. They were there to help the casuals. But if you were a hardcore zombie player, you could choose not to use them. The campaign, in my opinion, was complete ass. I didn't like how it didn't connect to Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1 and shit. I thought the campaign was garbage. But the multiplayer was solid, man. I heard a lot of people out there complaining when Black Ops 3 was newer that the game was boring and all this other shit. You know, people complain about the jetpacks and shit. That's the one thing for me that will always hold that game back. You got the dudes playing like the, the Floor is Lava Challenge and shit. You got them jumping at the height of a goddamn skyscraper. No, man, that shit wasn't for me. And how are you going to talk about like I seen another person. I don't even know who they are, too, but I think they're affiliated with the, the FaZe Clan and they were talking about how Black Ops 3 is the greatest COD of the last decade. The greatest COD of the last decade. What I just explained would stop it from being the greatest COD of the last decade, especially when you consider that Black Ops 2 is in this decade. Is it not? Black Ops 2 is that cut off Call of Duty. Black Ops 3 is not better than Black Ops 2. Is it better than everything that came after Black Ops 2? Hell fucking yeah it is, man. It is not better than Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 is a gem. It's a classic. That game is timeless, man. It's still so much fun if you can go back and find a clean lobby now with nobody cheating and shit. You had solid zombies. You had a real solid campaign that connected to previous Treyarch Call of Duty games. And you had a great fucking multiplayer that was fast-paced. It was full of action. It was when they introduced the Pick 10 system. You know, the guns were great, the maps were great, it, everything about this game was fucking great, man. You had shitty hit detection, the pistols were a little OP, the shotguns were a bit of a problem, the Remington was a, was a big problem. The snipers were OP as fuck, and that goddamn target finder, man. You know, it, I'm not saying it was perfect, but, you know, Black Ops 2, a great fucking Call of Duty. I love that game still to this day, I wish I could go back and relive those... Relive those years, relive those days a little bit more, because I played this game a lot. I played Black Ops 2 a lot after Ghost came out too, man, but I wish I could go back and relive those days a little bit. I would have appreciated them a little bit more, especially with what we got now. <laughs> but I can't believe we're talking about this shit in 2022, but I thought it was interesting. You know, I love Black Ops 3. I just, I don't think it's the best Call of Duty of the last decade, because we are talking about Black Ops 2 in there. And I don't think it's a top three COD. And no, that doesn't mean that I'm shit at Black Ops 3. I just don't think it's a top three COD, man. I, I would have Black Ops 2 ahead of it. I'd have Black Ops 1 ahead of it. Classic. You know, MW2, if it's not being ruined by the noob tubes, would you really take Black Ops 3 over MW2? Like, yes, Black Ops 3 had that fluid movement shit. And if you had your bitch ass scuff, or if you were on KM and shit, you could abuse the shit out of it and get better gameplays more frequently. Of course, right? <laughs> so, whatever, man. What does that say about you? You know, MW2, better than Black Ops 3, in my opinion, when dudes ain't abusing the cheese and trying to ruin that game intentionally on purpose. Black Ops 1 better, Black Ops 2 better, and World of War COD 4 classics, man, always hold a special place for those games. You know, even though now, like, they're kind of boring with their limited kill streaks and all that, they're, they're still great, man. Like, some of my greatest memories gaming were on those games. 
But anyways, my people, I had a few other ideas for videos today, man. But I thought, you know, I took a, had a busy weekend, took a couple days off of uh, commentate and figure we'll just kind of ease my way back into it. Talk about something that I found was kind of interesting, but, you know, maybe we'll just have a little fun with it instead of just being out here ranking on Vanguard all the time, even though we still kind of did. You, you kind of can't, man. And... <laughs> In this, like you can't. The Vanguard is in such a bad state. So is Warzone. It's really hard not to, man. It's just like there's always something negative to talk about. It seems like with that goddamn game. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I'm out.